It's all you, little homie. The team says that they're confident. Everyone says the right things. I've been around long enough to know that players don't just admit their fears either. I kind of shared the experience of what it's like to play a team right after they cut you. But in terms of Lenny, I know it's like twice as bad. For Lenny, like he literally lives with these people. Just knowing how much my experience meant to me, I already know for Lenny, it's like that's got to be like two, three times as bad. In the end, I didn't get my chance. I didn't, and the one chance I got, I didn't show up. So I'm not gonna harp about like what really, really happened. But I'm, I was just unhappy there, and they made me feel really un, unwelcome. So it's just how it is. You know? Hello. Hey. So, obviously, we all know um, kickoff is around the corner, actually, tomorrow. Um, so, I just want to ask you a couple of questions on it before we head into kickoff. Um, first, just a very general question. You know, are you excited for the VCC Pacific kickoff? Um, are we confident as a team in heading into this competition? Anyone going to bring me on board for talent? That's the next question. <laughs> Are they just gonna finish in the same spot as last year too? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, what their plan is. Well, I can't Seth. figure it out. Are they gonna get a win yeah. this season? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The team says that they're confident. Everyone says the right things. However, I will just say that um, I've been around long enough to know that Players don't just admit their fears either. I think it'll be really good for me to see some of the development, particularly in Lenny and Governor, who, in my opinion, struggled a little bit when we played in Thailand recently. I thought that tournament was really good for them because I think for them, it kind of got their feet wet with you know this level of international competition. Personally, I think we have a very good group. My expectation is we're gonna get out of the group. So this is what I, expect yeah definitely I'm excited to finally play on stage and I'm pretty confident in our in our team like I like our guys I think we've been working hard the whole of this month and last month and we've been grinding the off season a lot so pretty confident in our our run here today and kick off here I think the reason why this match is so important for Lenny is because he didn't get a chance to play last year. The interpersonal relationships with the team wasn't very great. Can you just tell us, you know, briefly your history with Team Secret? You know, um, obviously, sadly, um, you didn't play many games with them. Um, how did that make you feel? And just like, what happened in, in Secret? <laughs> That's a big, long history, huh? I think Lenny has a chip on his shoulder because, you know, he wanted to play with and for Secret, wasn't really given the chance. And the truth is, I don't think the players of Secret have been very, let's say, nice to him publicly, right? Some of them have made even public statements about his lack of skill. So for him, you know, there's a lot of emotion going into this match. Basically, what I wanted and what management was offered when I was given the contract didn't measure up to what they gave me during the season. I can't do much to change it. I tried my best. I did my work, put in the hours. I was there in Korea the whole season. But in the end, I didn't get my chance. I didn't, and the one chance I got, I didn't show up. So at the end of the day, it's what it is, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to harp about like what really, really happened, but I'm, I was just unhappy there. And they made me feel really, Un unwelcome, so 
It's just how it is, you know. <laughs> I worry that the emotion he's not going to be ready for and he's not going to handle very well because this is his first time. Having to go up against your former team with this much emotion, I think is very unlucky. However, the silver lining to that is, if he can persevere through that, that means the rest of the year gets easier. Because if you can look at your demon very early and survive, nothing else is gonna scare you. Especially with halls being opened up. If you're not watching that with the Sentinel, how are you gonna make it happen? I guess with just gunshots peeking into shop, they managed to start things off with a double kill. What a way to open your debut in VCT Pacific. Governor, a lot of people had questions about the pickup, but trying to silence the doubters from the pistol round. We're seeing another outlaw. Oh my oh, goodness. Left. Half armor, you get chewed right through. It doesn't work out there, execute. So probably they're gonna go A, and it's a good call. It connects onto a third. Jesse Vash now trying to go for a close range. Oh, but Governor <laughs> and Lenny swapped over the shorty. You can still shoot me for days. I'm gonna take you down. But Talon losing out in terms of numbers advantage. Still though, trying to go back to a little bit more safety. Lenny just holds left. out. 1v5. What a great debut on the Neon. And Jin Boys to end it all as he hops around for his teammate to pick up the kill, 13 to eight. Personally, I felt relieved because like, you know, I know obviously more about the team than you know anyone else, but you know, we've been getting especially you know, a lot of hate. People are saying we're gonna go winless, all that. You know, the whole time during the off season, I'm sitting here like just waiting for the match. Cause it's like, I just wanna shut these guys up, but it was definitely a good feeling to get that off our back finally. Even with the one way, it just enables for Governor to find a little bit more, jumps back out, another shot through. Jeremy tries to spray transfer over, but it's pressured into shooting down this lockdown instead. Lenny goes in for the chase, and it's Governor with the short end that gets it instead. NDG all the way from A main, can't find the angles. And that's another thing about Lenny is Sova, Punisher always good for a couple of kills. Jeremy sees it and wants to push the pressure. Odin will put up a bit of a roadblock though as the sprays cut and beat in half. Make that four a four. Too much. Look at the swing from Van and Jit Boys. All that's left is gonna be Jesse Vash and Governor with the angle makes it a flawless 13 to 3 on a set. A statement made by Talon Esports. I kind of shared the experience of what it's like to play a team right after they cut you. But in terms of Lenny, I know it's like twice as bad. Before Turtle Troop, I played on a team called uh, the Protagonist. I scrimmed with those guys for like a month, and then like a couple weeks before Challengers, I just, you know, I got cut. It was like the most painful feeling ever. But I ended up having to play them in Challengers after I qualified anyway. And you know, we ended up beating them. But for Lenny, like he literally lived with these people and spent a way longer time with them. Just knowing how much my experience meant to me, I already know for Lenny, it's like, that's gotta be like two, three times as, as bad. I, and, I, and I knew how good it felt when, when, I, when I won. So, you know, I wanted to give him that feeling as well. I feel great. After yesterday's win, I feel like I'm a lot more confident. I feel like there's a weight off my shoulders. Compared to last year when I didn't get to play, it feels like I've proven to like everyone, but most importantly, like myself. I deserve to be here. Can you tell us a bit about Dom's performance yesterday? I think he had probably one of the best performances a uh, rookie can have like in terms of his debut match. So I'm, I'm really happy for him. I'm proud of him. I would say he was in flow state the whole game, the entire series. I'm actually not too satisfied with the way we won. Like I know it's nice to pop off and like have a great game like that, but I always believed that our team's strength was going to be in our fundamentals and our teamwork. So I really didn't think that even that performance was necessary. And I hope that, you know, versus better teams like DRX, like we'll be able to win more like without those types of performances. Because I really don't think uh, that was the win condition for that team. But, you know, I'm glad that it did happen. At least now I bounce back, you know. Like, is this how it is when you drop down to the bottom, when you get kicked, when you fall down, 
you just gotta pick yourself back up and like that's how it is in life that's how you gotta move on and I landed here so I'll just walk my way back up <laughs>